let's introduce what we're about to do, right, Joe? Hello, hello. We could call it a segment, but all, all feelings, no facts, bro. All feelings, no facts. Yeah. Where we are going to get into the conspiracies. And no. I'm not about to mm. tell you, we're going to say some wild stuff. You cannot hold this against me because I said, I told you, this is all feelings, no facts. And no research believe, was done. And no research was done, none whatsoever. So if you believe a nigga, hey, that's all on you, fam. From mm. this point onwards, I cannot be held liable, liable. vicariously <laughs> or otherwise. I'm not liable. If you believe me, that's on you. It's your problem, mm-hmm. nigga. Let's go. That's your problem. Listen. Do you know what I believe, bro? I believe that the 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 final scroll is about to be opened. You feel me? Mansplain. Let me mansplain. Let me break this down. I believe South Africa has been living under a hoax this whole time. Mm. Bro, I believe that from the late 70s, actually from even the 60s. <coughs> we have been slowly bubbling up to civil war. And in the 90s, we saw that materialize itself with a lot of the factions between the IFP and the ANC, right? Boom. Mm. And there was, in the 90s, the early 90s, like 91 and 92, there was Codesa 1 and 2, which were meetings where a lot of the freedom fighters from from the ANC and all of the black struggle were meeting a lot of the, the apartheid. Uh, leaders of the time to find a solution right Mm. i believe that during those meetings there was a proposal to go forward and black people wanted land and every single man who was championing economic empowerment of the black man as a whole was sliced honey Mm. oh chris honey bro they sliced them yeah they whacked them steve beagle they whacked whacked him. Mm. Or Tambo. Whacked him. You know what I'm saying? Robert Sibugwe. They whacked him. Every single man that was on some pan Africanist. Every single man that was on some, let's get this land. Let's get our people economically empowered. We don't just want to be free. We want to be free and we want reparations for our people to be able to make it to where they need to. And keep this in mind a lot. A lot of white people were recruited from European countries and they were set up here so they can increase the population of white people. I <coughs> saw this is that. Yeah, I saw that yeah, recently. I'm, and people were sharing their stories as to why they settled in like, South Africa. Well, why their like, grandparents settled in South Africa. Yeah, Greek, Greek mofos, Bosnian mofos, Serbian niggas. You know what I'm saying? They, they got a check. To come start their lives here So this whole Oh no You work up from the top Is some bullshit Even Even the Afrikaners The Bruder Bond Existed bro. They, they were helped By the government To build their communities But that's neither here or there I digress Let's return to the beef Right mm. So I believe That A lot of these Freedom fighters Who are balling today Were the dudes Who were like Nah We ain't doing this war thing Let us eat the piece Of the puzzle let us eat the thing and let's cut it. But at what let's cost though? Guys because they were never they were never easily given up. We were never free. Thing. Of course, we were not, never but free. Even we were so, just, some of us were just allowed to be uh uh middle middle what's middle class stooges. Mm. And a few of us were allowed to be kinda rich, nouveau riche, they would say newly rich. Yeah, so I'm that's saying what for, I think is happening. I'm saying for the ones that um decided to eat while others were, were fighting for pan Africa pan Africanism and all that other stuff. Yes. Yes. What 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 was the not really the reward for them, but what was the reward for the white people on their side? What do you think the reward was for them? For letting them be their, their snitches? Like what is their reward? What did they get out of this? White people. Mm. They kept all the shit they took. Mm. Bro. They kept yeah, all I, they they no. did. No, no, no. I, I hear you because I've been thinking that minerals, all, of is, of the- all of this shit is all of the shit is an illusion since ninety four. The thing was, yeah. let's just let's literally let's put on blackface now, and these are just yeah. conspiracies. My thing was, bro, we already it, said it's all feelings, yeah. no facts. If you believe me and you want to hold this against me, ha! 
yeah, on that's you. All love. That's your fault. I, I, I feel as if a deal was yeah. struck in the 80s, maybe. 70s, 80s. And then 90s, they were like... Bro. I say in the 80s, the, the deal was all struck. Because right. nothing just gets signed at all in four years. Because... Apartheid was Why do you think it was in the in the eighties? Because apartheid was basically over by nineteen ninety. People were plotting to move to the to the burbs, the suburbs, basically. So it, it was basically over. It just wasn't official. Because my parents moved in like early. But 90s. you forget, bro. You forget, bro. After Chris Honey died, bro, it was tense. There was violence. You see, the in fact, the faction infighting between the IFP and the NC was deep. Like the necklacing and all of this and the paranoia and snitching and women pimp and whatnot and and snitching all mm. it was deep. Like no. we were at the brink yeah. of civil war. Like tensions were all time high. And I that's feel you, why but, the codesses yeah. were brought about. So that's why I think like we were on the brink of civil war. We were gonna fight for independence. It was gonna be ugly and we we're going we were going to be a poor ass African country for some time before we get right. And then on both sides, and it was like, ah, sanctions are already going on. We're already bleeding. So let's let's do this thing where we we integrate things into the constitution that will look good, but they're still going to keep the status quo. And yeah, y'all niggas. Yeah, that's what family, I was going to say. Sons are going to eat and y'all are going to be good. That's what I think happened. Yeah, that's and what I I'm going to say. Lot- in the 80s, that's what I'm saying. Was mm. In the 80s, this was all drawn up. The fact that they were that we're on the brink of civil war, that to me that doesn't matter because I feel as if that's something that they saw coming and that was in their book for for it to happen. And the only way to settle it is if they came with that specific solution that we all do not know because we we definitely weren't in that room. But in that room, on that contract or that verbal contract, they stipulated the reason why this civil war will not happen is because we're gonna bring you A, B, C, and D and E. And, and then peace. you'll give us you'll give us this, but then we'll still be fine, but we'll just keep quiet. That's just about oh we yeah. just try to keep quiet. If there's uh, yeah. those few that that speak out of turn, that's on them. What we're doing is we're basically putting on blackface through an, through a, a real black person. That's what I think. Yo, yo, we put blackface on through a real black person, and yes, in his mind maybe he negotiated for the greater good on terms of well we're not going to start on on negative. We might as well just start on zero type thing. Bro, I want to put on another tin for hat on top of this one. Mm. The Mandela, the Mandela, Mandela died effects. Years ago. <laughs> Mandela nah, effect. Mandela effect. That nigga died years ago, bro. That was a clone. We were talking to a clone. Man's that playing. man came out was on a different type of time. You see, wasn't that, he seventy something? Was, he came out, bro. He was in there for apparently twenty seven years, but he was moved from Paul's Mall to Robin Island to all types of different joints, right? So the whole collection of the twenty seven years, not everyone. Not everyone can vouch for him. And he spent a lot of time in solitary confinement. Mm. So there's a possibility that not everyone can vouch for that. Right? But where do you think that people make these clones? Bro, there's an alien spaceship. The, the aliens come down every... The aliens come down every... <laughs> they came the first time for the, for the pyramids. And then they're like, oh, let's take it a bit south. And then they rocked up here. Then they kept Bruh. Mandela in the test tube. Then they Bruh. came out and they spat, they spat him out. And they removed the actual nigga. Like I was saying, Kodessa happened, the deal was made, white people keep the land and keep all the factors of production of our economy, and a few niggas get a slice. I say and that's I'll, where we are yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know why I also think this is because a lot of these politicians, if they had to put pull their resources together, they have enough money to improve a lot of places and start a lot of businesses that can empower a lot of black people, but they don't. Something is stopping them. I Outside say, of greed, of course. I greed say, aside, but I say we were yeah. sold to the West at some stage. Mm. Um, Uzuma, all conspiracies, all facts, no feeling. I mean, all feelings, no facts. I feel like Uzuma, and at the time that he almost sold us to the Asians, and the Asians in our sleep was when he was trying to divert the the trade. I'm assuming, or the the, the oh, purchase. Oh, like the the white people, the colonial white people still God. Because, bro, every time a, pr- a president gets elected here, he goes to see the queen. That's exactly. some weird shit, bro. Exactly. So I'm so saying he's trying to divide power. Yeah, oh, so he was trying to split it. Yeah, he was trying to split it. Like, no, 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 no. <gasps> it's not going to go straight here. We're going to split it with these people too. So at least I understand that we're not going to be heavily westernized and then we wouldn't have stupidity. Because the problem is, is that if we had to get taken over by the West, more specifically America, which is what they, they're trying to do now, the things that affect them 
affects us heavily more than the rest of the world. 